Welcome to another edition of Desarian Plays EverQuest 2. I'm on the normal server with my Necromancer. Uh, looks like we are finished up here in uh, Sinking Sands area. Uh, last time I in the class of Rougerac, I uh, got to level 58. You can see I'm just barely into it. And all I needed to move on to the Golden Path was level 57. So, it's time to talk to Old Man Sh Silvers again and see where he sends us off to next. Well met. Once again, you have not disappointed me. You be impressing everyone we meet. Thank you. What did you find out? Roger finally gave the military the slip. Once he got here, a group of very capable nomads managed to throw them off the trail, giving him enough time to head to his next location, which was... I see the captain heading up to the hide his treasure. The next clues is in Tenebrous Tangle, and we need to get there fast. Why the hurry? I think some squally, scallywag has been following us. The nomads told me that someone else came about asking about Roger uh, after I arrived. We need to get out of here fast. Well then, why aren't you? Why are you still sitting here? How do I get to Tenebrous Tangle? Tenebris is located in the Overrealm. The Overrealm. The only way there is by using the Wizard Spire in Antonica or the Common Lads. Head there as soon as you can, and I will meet you there. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. Uh, let's see. I, I can't remember if that's actually correct or not. Uh, if we do have to get there. Timorous Deep. No. Nope, nope, nope. So we need to find a spire to get there. And I'll just do what he says and we'll go to the common land and uh, take that one up. So you can see I'm in the common lands now, hopping my way toward the spires, which are right outside the, the crossroads there. And... I don't think there's much we have to do now, except there used to be some, uh, you know, they only fired off every so often, and um, you had to give some stuff. I forget what all you had to do, but now you just click on them, and you can see a lot of different things open up. We can see the Cobalt Scar opens up, Sundered Frontier, Sundered, it, all of this kind of stuff on the exterior here is opened up. So uh, we want to head up here to... Uh, I forget what they call this area. He said it, but I've forgotten already. So let's go to Tenebrous Tango. And we can see that as level 55 through 60. And this is 60 to 65 and 65 to 70. So we're going to be up in the sky for quite a while. Uh, or well, at least till level 70 probably. Um, which is fine. It's a, it's a good area. And we should have a lot of fun there. And we made it. And you can see there's a tiny spire there. And here is Old Man Silver's waiting for us. Well met. You made it. Just in time, lad. The residents of Hidden Refuge have pointed me in the direction of the next clue in exchange for a little help from my favorite mate. Yeah, yeah, I know what comes next, but are we any closer to the treasure? All right, matey, yes. I think that this may be the final clue that leads us to the booty. So, get to work, you lubber, and leave the investigation to me. Okay, but make it quick. Except, so we can see that is a level, we need to get to level 67 here uh, before we head off. So I'm going to turn that one off and uh, just start questing around. See what Yabber Longwind has to say. You can see this is a, a new mob. Uh, these were introduced in this expansion. This is... Sundered Frontier, I forget the exact expansion, but... Ahoy there, my fine featherless friend. Welcome to the Dragon's Isle. May many here consider this the Overwhelm. That's what they call it. And while that is true, it is also true to say that these are the Dragon Isles. I know you must be wondering why. Uh, yeah. Well, you see, it dates back to the age of flight gliding. Flight gliding was old sports AVX would perform until it was outlawed due to the lack of proper plumage <laughs> flight risk we all could see coming but don't let me get off topic we're talking about the dragon isles yes so get on with it well you see back at the age of flight gliding large rocks started to appear in the skies over norworth norath 
Not that you would know any of this, of course, because they were found high in the upper atmosphere where your average northern visions could not penetrate. What? Then how can I see the sun and not these floating rocks? Well, you see these... They're trying to cover their, <laughs> their butts on the... <laughs> stories and everything and on those zones that way they don't have to explain themselves well you see these aisles float higher than any cloud you could ever laid eyes on not only are they high up but they are chained to the positions above the under cloud this is why we exist forever in twilight within the timber tenebrous tangle see what does that have to do with the name given to these floating aisles nothing <sighs> Oh, that's right. Well, you see, all manner of dragon kind can be found in the nearby islands. They believe this is part of the overwhelm to be theirs. There are many floating isles above Norath, but the dragons have only laid claim to three main territories. And what are they? Well, you see, there is this one known as Tenebrous Tangle. Tangle is part of the dragon isles, and the dragon isles are part of the overwhelm. And the other two? The other two are very far from here, but are all tied into the dragon teleport network. To get to the other realms, you'll have to explore a bit to find a way there. Obviously, you know how I can get there. Well, you see, I have wings. Unfortunately for you, you do not. So you will have to find your own way around. But I have enlightened you enough. Please to make your acquaintance, but I must get back to business farewell. Yeah. Um, whatever. Oh. I'm in a... Uh, let me... To the quest. So he continues talking. Can you direct me to say place to camp within Timber Single? Yes, get it. And he's going to up our gear a little bit. Although, um, oh, that's a one handed that does the exact same thing. Well, not the exact same thing, but does, uh, it would be pretty good. Replacement. And that one's pretty neat as well. Let's see what that looks like. So, look anything like the pick. Eh, yeah, man. And we'll accept those quests. Alright. And yeah, let's accept the. Oh, that's the Freeport Emissary. I knew our paths would cross I'd, within this place if I just dropped a few rumors about Freeport. Who are you and why are you waiting for me? I am nameless. All that you may know is that I am the member of the Freemort, Freeport Emissaries and an elite band of Overlord Fist of Justice. And what are they doing here? The Freeport Emissaries are not a conventional force as such. We share a few liberties and alliances. I would see them in common. All right, what do you want? I, I don't. I don't care. Yeah, we're gonna do something for Freeport. Oh my gosh, that's huge. I've been asked by the agents of the Empire of the Freeport to assist in recovering the stolen Kenosian Claymore, and to meet a new ally of my Empire and native of the Overrealm named Jabber Longwind. Didn't we just meet him? Farewell. Yes, see? Yeah, I'm the agent. What do you want to know? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have entered the floating isles. Uh, he tells me that the agent I'm supposed to report to has already entered the island. is located within the Hidden Refuge. My first steps to recover in the Queen of Kino Sin. Claymore will begin here, and oh, I thought that was a uh, a disc I could float around on. So I need to I need to locate the hidden refuge, uh, which isn't very far away. In fact, I think I can do that by accessing it here. But I'm going to go in here real fast, and uh, you'll see there's lots of creature creatures running around right here. And um, there's there's a couple of quests. I think it's by him or him. Oh, it's by the frog. I'm quite sure now. Um, Hello. All right. He said he'd be able to set me up camp. And he wants jumpers. And uh, so there's a lot of repeatable quests right in here where you can kind of go up and down. In fact, uh, it used to be a good place to grind out some levels uh, to kind of push you over into 60. Um, probably not going to have to do that as much anymore. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about these quests. I'm definitely not going to read them. Hey there. Pip Fuzzle Twig. And what is he what? 
It's gonna give me a stud. I had to take out centuries. So, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead, and see if I can head down to the uh, hidden refuge. Ah, you see, it's got a pretty nice network of islands around here. But we're gonna go to the hidden refuge. Let's see if it works. I don't think it used to work. I think you had to actually drop down in there to get to it. Um, used to have to drop down the cliff, down to down the waterfall. You can see there's several repeatable, or these are uh, faction quests uh, that we can get. And right up here is the Freeport Emissary. Hello. You are late, disease. Hopefully, your future service will not be marred with such delays. The Overlord does not like to be displeased, but I must admit, I enjoy punishing those that displease him. Okay. Lucan, uh, I mean the Overlord, has much faith in your powers. Your skills will provide invaluable in the recovery of the Kenosian Claymore. But, I must warn, I'm making up that word, Kenosian. <laughs> but I must warn you, do not fail us. I get the picture. I will not fail you. You dare call me by my name? You shall refer to me as Mistress Nevelin. Neville Nevelix. You will feel the pleasure of my dirk within your belly. Okay, okay, Mistress Nevelix. Uh, how can I assist you in finding the Claymore? Our emissaries have been successful in finding the trail. Uh, one of them known as Neri. They have felt my delight and regrettably regretfully are with us no more but some of their findings point to us in the right direction and what direction is that the burglar burglars seem to be chasing burglars in these floating aisles a group of thieves hailing from the circle of the unseen hand seem to be hot on the trail of a nary this gives us a new lead to follow okay so we're gonna do that uh, and um no i'm not gonna i'm just going to uh Start taking quest. I'm done reading. Way too much reading in this episode already. And, uh, just. You can see, this is the hidden refuge, and there's a. Let's see, where is the waterfall? Ah, here. You see the waterfall, and that goes all the way up. Well, that's a nice mount, but. But all the way up there, that's where you would have normally dropped in, uh, back in the day. But now we fly around. Especially on our leaping lizard. So, uh, let me take all of these quests. Okay, so I've picked up all the quests that are available here. And you can see there are a ton of them, but most of them are repeatables. So I've turned off, uh, well, I thought I did. Turned off all of the repeatables and only have left the, um... The ones that are actual quest. The one I'm really interested in, the one we're definitely going to be following, is this Cogs and Droags. Uh, I guess that's how you spell it, Droags. Um, Bill Grun Cogsworth of the exploration team Lost is searching for Drendever expedition team who sent out several distress signals from all over the kingdom of the sky. The problem is they can't be found, so you must follow the clues to find them. The first is a gnomus mechanical cog dropped from a droag. Slay more droags to see if you can find more cogs. Any droags into Nebra's Tangle will do. The reason I'm following this, uh, for one thing, it's going to give us a lot of um, items and quests, or items that we can equip and everything else. But, at the end of this, which is a, kind of a long quest line, we do get a cloud mount. Uh, so, you know, I'm all about getting new mounts. Um, so that's, that's really what I'm after. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, uh, along with this, you can see there's several of these, uh, and, and all of my quests are going to be firing off with everything I kill because we have so many. Oh my gosh, I don't want to fall off. Um, so I want to go back up and find some droags to kill and start progressing that quest. So I've come back up to uh, where we initially landed, and uh, there's a quest up here for the uh, slaying some droags around the treehouse. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's up here around this uh, this this waterfall, which is right over here. It's going to be much easier on our leaping mount than it once was. But you can see right there are droags. Those are the like 
dragon-like creatures that are around here. And I found the temple ground, so let's go ahead and uh, kill a group of those. Make sure I have Miss 72 out and the Giddick. And let's kill these guys and see what kind of advancements we get on our quest. See, there's a Gnomish Mechanical Knot Cog, which is definitely one of the things we're looking for. And just everything is going to uh, just fire off as we do this. We've set it into chaining, but why isn't he attacking? Protect me, protect yourself. Okay. So uh, let me clear out this treehouse and uh, see what happens. You see on my uh, necromancer, I was able to go right up in here and uh, just kill everything. So that all of this stuff will ping and go really quickly. So while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, green hood near the pond by the Temple of the Scale, uh, which is right over here. I don't know if I can jump on top of this without attracting everybody or not. Ah, it looks like I can. So uh, it's going to be inside of here, which there's going to be a lot of mobs to fight. You can see there's all sorts in here. Oh, actually, it wasn't inside there. There's a skeleton right here. There, found the remains. All right, it's time to head back. I'm gonna pick up a frog here, and then I'll head back. All right, back at Bligorn. He's the guy that's gonna give us the uh, the well. It's the Cloud Mount Howdy quest. Do. Nice to see ya. Yes, I was. I was very successful. All right, I get a choice between a high tapestry, no, and a gem. Well, oh, I don't have a tap choice I get it all right what was this there appears to be torn notes stuck on one of the cogs what does it say it is written in gnomish handwriting so it may be from the Drendever, dread never team apparently there were treasure hunting following some kind of trail clues left by the ancients to the great treasure how exciting what else does it say I can't tell what the treasures they were searching for but where it is where it might be because the note is torn and part of it is missing but at least we know they were in this region at some point, though that still doesn't answer where they are now, but I may have another lead to help there. What is that? My lost scouts report there has been some commotion on a southern isle called Fear Tainted Isles. It might be the Dread, Dread Never team. I want you to go there and investigate. All right. And that one's a little above our level. Uh, so... That's fine. We'll uh, do that at another time. Hey, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. And in the next one, maybe we'll uh, go there. Uh, just going to piddle around here a little bit, turning in quests. And I'm probably going to get a level really quick because there's just so much quest turning in that I've got going on. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a comment and uh, give me a like. It really helps me out. And uh, as always, if you haven't yet already, please subscribe. Your subscriptions really mean a lot to me, and it helps the channel out, and it helps keep you apprised of what is going on here. Because uh, i got lots of videos coming. I've got EverQuest 2 and Wildstar coming, uh, and then some other games that I pick up here and there. So, till next time, bye.